Assalamu alaikum brother. This is a question from a non-Muslim audience. Her question states that we see on television many women being tortured in Afghanistan. Why do Muslim men torture or degrade women in Islam? Sister asked the question that we see on the television, you know, in Afghanistan Muslim men are torturing women. So why in Islam Muslim men torture and degrade the women? Sister, this question was replied just a few days earlier on the second day of the conference on Saturday. On Saturday, 31st of October, I gave a talk, Women in Islam Protected or Subjugated, and I gave the talk in detail. So ask your friend to watch that tape, watch the DVD. Inshallah, it will answer all the queries. Regarding your main point that she saw on the television that in Afghanistan, Muslim men, they are beating the women. And once when I was traveling, I came across a Malaysian couple both of them were doctors. They said that they spent more than a month in Afghanistan. And they told me that what they saw on television, the Taliban beating the women, they aren't Taliban. So I asked them, how do you know? They told me that we have been in Afghanistan, we have spent more than a month, we know how the Taliban tied the turban. You know, when we see an Arab, we feel all Arabs the same. Emirati, Saudi, Kuwaiti, but they themselves know that a Saudi ties the Qatar in a different way. An Emirati ties in a different style. If you go to a Kuwaiti, different style. So similarly, the Taliban, they have a particular style of tying the turban. So what she told, and what he told the couple, that what they shot, even that they didn't do properly. That means they could shoot the parting of the sea in Hollywood. You know, Ten Commandments. Moses, peace be upon him, parting of the sea, but they made a fault when they show Muslim men in Afghanistan beating the women. So therefore the Quran says in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 6, whenever you get information, you check it up before you pass it on to the third person. So what we realize, this is the gimmick of the media. And in the last conference, 2008, my last talk was media and Islam, war or peace. And I showed how the media goes out of the way to malign Islam. I'm not saying all Muslims hundred percent good Muslims there are black sheep in the community but what the media does picks up these black sheep and portray as though they are exemplary Muslims and many a time they show things which are absolutely nonsense it does not exist in Islam so ask your friend to watch my tape women's rights in Islam protected or subjugated and media in Islam war or peace hope that answers the question